hunt for housing for many families has been increasingly difficult. In a topsy-turvy seller's market and a lack of affordable homes, one woman was hopeful when she thought she landed the perfect spot for her disabled mother. Fox 13 News consumer investigative reporter Robin Oginye shows us why her hopes were dashed and shows us how you can avoid the same situation. Tokerville, Utah, population 1,931. The small city 30 minutes east of St. George. It's growing like weeds. Las Vegas transplant Kimberly Osborne decided in March last year she wanted to move her 74-year-old mother Glinda here from Nevada. There's very limited uh, affordable housing, uh, let alone senior affordable housing here. She thought she found an ideal home for Glinda, a senior living complex in St. George, Summit Point Apartments. I called I, and the lady told me yes I could get on the waiting list and it was about six months. She said all you have to do is just keep calling every month to keep her on the list. So she called and called until finally. October 25th she called me and uh, told me that I emailed you this letter you need to fill it out sign it and get it back to me before the end of the day. So I did. But even after climbing to the top of the waiting list, there was still a wait. Didn't hear nothing else. November 4th, I called. And it usually goes to a voicemail if nobody answers. Nobody answered. I called back on the 7th. You know, and I called a couple times throughout the day. I called back on, I believe it was the 9th and the 10th. And then on the 17th of November, I get an email telling me that due to the increase of Social Security, that it puts her over the limit and that she is no longer eligible for their apartment. Upset after a nearly nine month delay, Kimberly called the St. George Housing Authority. The Housing Authority encouraged her to call 211. 211 prompted her to call the property's management. So again, she called. Oh, I explained to them what had went, happened and that I wanted to speak to somebody higher up. They took my information, but nobody ever called. And if they're doing it to me, then they're doing it to somebody else. So we went to the St. George Housing Authority to get answers for her. Upon arrival, we learned the director was out that day. The management here at the St. George Housing Authority gave me these income requirements for specialty housing. The problem is there's no set standards. Apartment complexes are allowed to set their own income requirements. We were able to catch up with the Housing Authority's director a couple of days later. Do you guys have any rules for, you know, your housing there in terms of apartments being up front with people so that they're not waiting on a list that they don't even qualify for? How can people avoid that situation? The application is kind of the key, key component to be to say, look, here's what we expect to be on our program. If you qualify, we want to work with you. But because these income limits, they do change annually. And so I, 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 I don't want them to lose hope. But oftentimes we can say, look, we'll put you back on the waiting list. Let's see what the income limits do next year. Let's see what HUD comes out next year with to see, hey, um, it, it might raise you know, $5,000. And that puts you right on that teeter top where we can actually work with you. We pass that information along to Kimberly, who, despite the roadblock, is still working to find a home for her mom close to Tokerville. I know that I'll find something and I'll be able to call her and tell her. We reached out to the Summit Point Apartments several times over the last three weeks. We have not heard back. If you have to apply for low income housing, Barbin says the sooner you get on the list at the Housing Authority, the better. The St. George waiting list is one to two years long. And if you have a problem you want Fox 13 News to look into, email us at iteam at fox13now.com. In studio, I'm Robin Oginye, Fox 13 News, Utah.